Hi, lovelies. Welcome to our second pantry pop-up video. My name is Randy Anschutz. I'm a registered dietitian here at Synergy Health and Wellness. Um, and we're coming to you with our second video in this series of um, pop-ups to engage us thinking about nutrition and our food habits a little bit differently. I'm coming to you from my front porch. Um, we're currently at stay-at-home orders, and I've got four people in my house. I can't get to the kitchen. Um, so we'll see how well I can make technology work for us, but I've got some photos and videos to, to walk us through our pantry. Today, what we'll be talking about is inventorying what we've got in our pantry and making a menu for the week from it, as well as building our grocery list. Now, this is something that I do every Sunday. Um, I'm in the habit of it, so it's pretty fast. I sit down on Sunday mornings with a cup of coffee and uh, whip out my week's menu and grocery list, and then I, I go grocery shopping. So that means that as you get in the habit of it, it will be much faster. Now on normal everyday basis, when folks are just getting started with planning menus, I encourage you to start with a three day menu, right? If we're not in the routine of planning our menus and following through on it, we might have some food waste. Right now, um, with most of us on stay at home orders, we might need to plan a week or a two weeks worth of a menu, um, just so that we aren't going out and about a whole lot, okay? My goal is going to be stretching our food dollar um, adequacy in nutrition, and I also want to recognize access and that I have the privilege of access um, both financially and otherwise to adequate food. I'm really going to try and explore this in a way with you that could fit every budget. So let's hop right in. When we're going to start planning our menu and taking inventory, we need pen and a few pieces of paper, and then we'll hop right through. First, we're going to go to my pantry. I will take you there. And here we go. So I'm writing down my list in general um, as starches, proteins or meats, produce, and then kind of other. So we saw I had some broth, popcorn, tuna fish, some dried fruits, and some canned soups. I'm going to add each of those onto my inventory. Got a whole bunch of canned beans, dried beans, there's some split peas there. Here we have some canned artichoke hearts, some pasta sauce, linguine, and rice. So I'm going to add each of those things onto my inventory. The next place we'll head to is the freezer. In my freezer, we've got some frozen fruit and fruit juice. You see the empty shelf where teenagers lunch foods usually live. There's frozen soups, peas, corn, green beans, and cauliflower. Now, just this week, I was lucky enough to purchase a butcher box of some meats. Um, so that's what's in those tubs there. But for today's purposes, we'll say we're working with some chicken breast, um, two packages of chicken breast, some pork chops, and some ground beef, three pounds of ground beef. We've also got chicken apple sausage in there. Okay. Next, we'll head over to the refrigerator. Refrigerator, top shelf, we've got my cilantro bouquet, thanks to Abby. Some peanut butter, yogurt, whole bunch of sour cream, 
some cheddar cheese, eggs, some leftovers that we all be working with, some veggies. I've got cabbage, carrots, onion, lemons, and a zucchini. So I'm going to add each of those onto my pantry list or my pantry inventory, and from there we'll start to build a menu with it. So I'll show you here what that looks like. Here's that inventory. So you see under the starchy foods, I found potatoes, they were on the counter, um, chili beans in cans, split peas, black beans, red beans, linguine, and rice. Um, proteins or meats that I found were some canned tuna, some cheddar, eggs, three pounds of ground beef, some chicken apple sausage, two packages of chicken breast, a package of pork chops, and there was Greek yogurt in my fridge. Um, there was also peanut butter. I guess I could add that onto that list there under proteins. Under produce, between the pantry, the freezer, and the fridge, we had applesauce, a little bit of fresh fruit on my counter, a um, couple apples, some oranges and pears, dried fruit, frozen fruit, which I just generally write frozen fruit on there. I'll use that for smoothies, um, so I don't really need to break it down to what's wet. There was frozen juice, some canned artichokes, canned tomato sauce, uh, we had zucchini, cabbage, carrots, onion, lemons, and then in the freezer we had green beans, cauliflower, peas, and corn. We can use these on our menu throughout the week if possible. Um, the other foods that I don't really have a specific category for, we had some frozen soups in the freezer. Um, there was broth in my pantry and canned soups and then popcorn for snacking. Okay, so then what I'll do is I'll get a blank piece of paper and lay it out next to that and just start to almost play a game of match. Looking at what's on this list, let's put some things together and organize them in what I want to eat for the week. Um, when I make my list, if there's something that I need to purchase, an ingredient or something that I want as a side dish that wasn't in my inventory, I'll underline it so that I know when I need to add that to my grocery list. Here's an example. So I start on the right-hand side of the page. You'll see breakfast, lunches, and snacks. Um, really with those ones, I'm not planning a specific menu on a specific day for those. Just keep it general. We want to make this quick and easy. So for breakfast, we have toast and eggs, smoothies. Um, for lunches, leftovers. I'm a big fan of leftovers, making a bigger batch at dinner time and having some of that the next day. Uh, sandwiches. So we saw that I had some tuna and I also had cheese. So this week we could plug in tuna fish sandwiches and grilled cheese sandwiches for lunch or some cans of soup. For snacks, um, I planned a veggie tray, which I love to prep a veggie tray on Sundays if able, and then I use it through the week. Either it's already chopped and prepped to throw into a stir fry or a dish, or just for munching them. Uh, we have popcorn for snacking and fruit for snacking. Now, going back to that list that we had, um, we had some chicken breast. I saw that I had teriyaki sauce in my pantry when I flipped through there. Now I have rice, cabbage, and carrots. So the first night example is a teriyaki chicken breast with cabbage, carrots, on rice. Now I'm going to make a double, triple batch of rice so that I can use it in the next night's menu. Anytime I can prepare extras of a staple and fold it into the next day, I do that. So in this example, I'm going to have pork fried rice the next night using the leftover rice from Monday. So Tuesday night, we take those pork chops out of the freezer, the rice. Um, we're going to stir fry that in a wok or a big skillet with some green onions, peas, carrots, egg, and garlic, um, and drizzle it with a little bit of soy sauce. I'll serve that with a side of steamed broccoli. So you see here that I didn't have broccoli when we went through the fridge, so I've underlined that. 
I've also underlined the green onions because I don't have any of that in my fridge. Okay. Um, so Wednesday night, let's just pull some of that soup out of the freezer and have frozen soup and we'll make up some garlic bread. Um, I've got bread on the counter, but I'll add another loaf to my menu or to my grocery list this week and spread it with a little bit of butter and some garlic um, or garlic salt. When we went through the pantry in the freezer, we saw a whole bunch of chili beans um, and I do have ground beef. So Thursday night, let's have chili with ground beef and salad. Now, when I make a menu for myself, I don't necessarily list all the ingredients underneath of it. I just did that for our purposes so you could see my thought process. Now, when I make chili, I'm going to use the canned beans, need some onion, which I've got, ground beef, which I've got, zucchini, carrots, corn, tomato sauce, and garlic, all of which I have. Um, it looks like I need to get salad fixings for my side there and some canned green chilies to add a little bit of zip into that chili. Now, Friday night, I've got what we call must go. And that's when all of our leftovers through the week have to get eaten. Um, generally, our leftovers are going to be good in the fridge for three days. So on the third day, we either need to eat them, cook them again, or toss them. Currently at our house, because we're eating at home three, four, seven times a day, uh, we aren't having a whole lot of leftovers. So I did plug in a plan B. If there's no leftovers, let's make some tuna melts. We've got all the fix-ins for that. Okay. Then here we see on Saturday, I'll plug in fish tacos with black beans. Um, so we've got some white fish, which I should have underlined that one. We'll need, we'll need to purchase white fish. Aioli, which is a combination of mayonnaise, lemon, and dill. Some cabbage, some lime, and corn tortillas with black beans. And then on Sunday, let's use up some of that chicken breast and other ingredients. We'll have chicken linguine with a lemon cream sauce, artichokes, broccoli, and a side salad. So I've got most of the ingredients for that. The lemon cream sauce is extra virgin olive oil, which I have. Lemon, which I have. Heavy cream I'll need to purchase and shallots, which I'll need to purchase. So both of those are underlined. The broccoli I've already purchased for Monday or Tuesday's menu. So I didn't underline that one. Okay. As I've gone through and played this match game and put together my menu for the week, I cross things off of my list. Um, that way I could really use this inventory next week. I know what I still have on hand. Okay. Um, and if I purchase any extras this week, I could be adding that to this inventory as well. So we can really make it work for us and become more and more efficient as we go. Um, this Inventory, when I created that and broke it up by starch, proteins, produce, other, that's just how I organize my thoughts. You can really make this list your own. Any way that it works for you to be able to look at it and pair things together makes sense. Okay. Now, from my menu that we had and the underlined items, I'm going to start to build my grocery list. Okay. So here we have my grocery list. I like to organize my grocery list in order of the grocery store, the layout of the grocery store. That way I'm in and out really quickly. So for example, when I enter the grocery store, the first place I hit is fresh produce, then we have meats, then I might cruise through the aisles, then we have the frozen section and the milk and bread. So I really just hit those in order. Now looking at my menu, um, for breakfast, I have toast and eggs. I had eggs. I said I needed a little bit more bread. So let's add bread onto our menu. We've got all the fixings for smoothies. We've got frozen fruit, juice, yogurt, um, and we actually might end up putting a little bit of spinach on our grocery list and have that for salads and smoothie use as well. For lunches, I had leftovers. That's easy. Sandwiches, we've got everything we need for that. And soups, we've got everything we need for that. Okay. Now for snacks, I had a veggie tray. 
Um, in my fridge, you might remember that I had some carrots, but not a whole lot, not enough to really have snacks and menu use all week. So I'm going to add carrots onto my list. Then Monday night for dinner, we were covered. There was nothing we needed to purchase there. For Tuesday night's dinner, we need some broccoli, and I'm going to buy quite a bit of broccoli because I'm using it later in the week as well. I need green onions for that pork fried rice recipe. Um, Thursday night, we're having salad with our chili, so I'm going to need some lettuce or spinach, tomatoes, cucumbers, just some additives for my um, salad. Also, I did have celery on that list. That can go both in my veggie tray and in any of my salads or stir-fried dishes this week. You'll see that I put an asterisk by fruit um, because we're not really particular about the fruit that we eat. I'm probably going to look and see what's on sale. That generally means it's also more in season, and I'll just buy up some of that for snacking during the week. Okay. Now, um, we're gonna head into the aisles and I do need to get green chilies for use in my chili. We're going to need to get some corn tortillas um, for my tacos on Friday night. In the meat section, we need to get some fish. Any white fish is really pretty good in fish tacos. So you can decide based on what you like or your budget as well as what's on sale. Um, in general, we'd probably use uh, cod, halibut or tilapia in those fish tacos. For Sunday night's dinner, I'm going to need a little bit of heavy cream for that sauce. Oh, and backing up to the produce section, I also had added a shallot on there. Okay, so this grocery list has everything we need to supplement our inventory so that we can have that menu for the week. Um, you'll see most of the time on the menu, We've pretty much got square meals, right? There's starch, there's protein, there's vegetable or produce, um, there's fats in there. We've got healthy fats and fish. Um, throughout the week, we've really kind of balanced it out nicely. But again, you're gonna make this your own. You're going to choose from what your family likes to eat. Um, you know, preferences, what you already have on hand, availability and budget, all of those are going to go into consideration here. I hope this works for you. We really had to get creative with my front porch pantry. Um, please type questions into the comments during our watch party. I'll be there live, happy to answer any questions you have. Otherwise, we'll check in periodically after the fact and be happy to connect with you. We're here to support you. We've got online availability um, for nutrition, counseling, health coaching, self-care, any of that stuff that you're needing during this time. Thanks for watching and be well.